as a coach, you look beyond the ordinary to be able to be successful. Mm? If you just do the same thing everybody is doing just around, you will happen to kill yourself. This is not your first time of watching any game. Eh? You have been watching matches. But perhaps you have been watching those matches as normal spectators. You have not been observing it as coaches. Don't watch, but do what? Observe. Observing means that you are taking every single action within the game very, very serious and detailed. To keep notes as coaches is the issue. What did you tactically examine out of the game that you think can be an influence to you? I am saying this because, you see, in our modern trend, it has become very important for you as a coach to watch more games. The reason why you do that is that we call something game intelligence or football intelligence. It's just that extra knowledge you acquire to be familiar with situations within games or within your environment as a coach that you can handle. So the more you watch these games, from that perspective, the more you get to do what? Understand the game. In this modern game, eh, people have weird strategies of playing. So if you want to be a proper coach or an analyst, you need to kill the perspective of being judgmental, thinking that whatever is happening is because you are tired, is because you can't play, is because you were you there when the coach was talking to them. Do you know the strategy they chose to adapt? Artificial transitions are situations you create in games for the opponent to feel like I am comfortable. But literally, you are exposing the opponent to do what? Have spaces to play.